All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Harakak I want to give double honor to Apostle Tahar and the other elders and apostles that are in the spirit whose labors we have entered into. As you can see, the lesson is titled, Prices Will Continue to Rise in Babylon, right? So I'm on this, uh, this one uh, YouTube page, Epic Economist, right? So, you know, uh, this particular uh, person, whoever is in control of this YouTube channel, they drop. Uh, different videos based on, you know, different things that's happening with the economy and whatnot, the intimate collapse, imminent collapse of the, the stock market and different things, you know, just going into it, right, with a, with a lot of different facts and, you know, credible news articles, right, just basically showing how this place is really falling from a, a economic standpoint, right? Now, just want y'all listen, just, just the first couple seconds. If it wasn't that clear before, now we all can certainly see that our modern society is rapidly crumbling. Every single structure we rely on has proven to be incredibly vulnerable to external disruptions. And with global tensions rising by the day, we must be ready because dark times are coming for us. Right, coming for them. Now, this whole 30 survival skills and everything, I'm not really all into that, you know, because, of course, you know, we're dependent upon Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai to give us that spiritual power, man, uh, uh, that spiritual uh, power, and that divine uh, uh, divine intervention, you know, of course, to save us and to give us abundance, you know, and to reward us for what we have been doing, uh, you know, con consistently laboring, right? So just to say that, but, you know, this is definitely a good uh, YouTube channel for brothers. Go ahead and follow just to know uh, what's going on. You know, with the economy and the stock market, right? So I got another video right here. Check this out. High energy prices. Nicola Moore knows how to stretch her grocery budget. I understand food insecurity because I've suffered it myself. For the single mother of three, stocking the fridge this year took a lot of energy. Worrying about where your next meal will come from and will it be filling and healthy for your kids? Food costs are rising thanks to high energy prices and supply chain disruptions. Climate change fueled wildfires and droughts also have an impact. All issues that are expected to drive prices up further in 2022. Canadians will have to get used to higher food prices. Uh, we're not going to go back to how things were. That's crazy, right? Bo just said it. Things are not going to go back to how they were, right? So them prices are going to continue to rise, man. And we know this, of course, to the scriptures, man, because... You know, uh, 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 Babylon the Great Man is on a uh, on a rapid decline, man. Facing sticker shock, more shoppers are looking for sales and are cutting back on pricier products. You're gonna have to make different decisions, both at the grocery store and at the restaurant. Wages haven't kept up with inflation so far. That means food affordability across the country could get worse. So if the if uh, you know. Um, if inflation is causing the prices of goods and groceries and things like that to go up, let's say by 20% and, it, uh, and the rise, uh, the raises in wages aren't ma uh, uh, matching up with the, uh, the rising cost of inflation. Let's say wages were only risen by 7% and there's a 13% differential, right? Between the, uh, the rising cost of uh, the rising uh, wages and the rising cost of inflation. So what? Yeah, dollar, right, is going to, uh, uh, that you, you once had, is going to hold 13% uh, less strength. You understand? Food bank visits have increased by more than 20 Buying power. percent since 2019, a trend that's likely to continue in the new year. Toronto chef Jagger Gordon says the pandemic pushed more people to the edge. We just basically have seen so many people come to us and through other programs that say we need help. His answer starting a pay-what-you-can grocery store. Mm. It offers food that businesses would otherwise waste, like imperfect vegetables, and gives more fresh choice than a traditional food bank. We divert food from landfills and we put it back onto the tables of millions. Moore says programs like Gordon's are essential, but so are long-term solutions like higher minimum wage. I think there's a huge population that is one paycheck away from getting evicted, one paycheck away from not being able to pay their bills. And she hopes these con... And she's right, man. 
it's a lot of people that are struggling, right? But now, you know, uh, like it says, man, matter of fact, let me just grab this. I wanted to play another video real quick. But um, Second Ezra's 9, it says, <clears throat> verse 9, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right? So that's the point, man. They're dwelling in torments. They don't know where that next meal is coming from. Right? Like, you see this lady right here, man. She, you know, she, she talking about, you know, there's a lot of people uh, that are living check to check in these, you know, tribulous times. Yeah, she's right, man. You know, but the minute the Heavenly Father, you know, Heavenly Father's taking care of us, man. You know, making sure we got what we need, right? I got another one. Talking like about the gas prices uh, over there in North Carolina. But, you know, that this can be felt uh, all throughout America, man. You know, uh, the gas prices, you know, uh, crazy, crazy uh, gas, gas prices. Even over here in Philadelphia, man, the average like gas price over here is like three fifty, three seventy. Even one place is like three to three dollars and ninety nine cents. They just keep per gallon. On going up. Mm -hmm. And it's because the price of crude oil keeps going up. CBS 17's Randy Ayala live in Raleigh with a look at the prices and how people at the pump are handling these changes. Randy. Yeah, Bill, Liz, they just are kind of dealing with it because they have to, right? Look, we're here at the Exxon off of Atlantic Avenue here in Raleigh. Now, prices here, three nineteen a gallon for regular. The AAA says that the average is three thirty three nationally. Here in North Carolina, the average is three eleven. That's about a cent increase since last week, but ninety cents more than a year ago. And people have noticed the increases. As I work here locally, so I really don't pay attention. But when I do travel and have to fill all the way up, mm -hmm. that's when it gets, you know, you yeah. start getting like, hey, it's a little bit too pricey. But right. Now, the cheapest gas in our area would be at Fayetteville at 309 a gallon. And I wish I had better news for you, but experts say as long as the price of crude oil keeps increasing, then the price of gas is going to follow. We're now live in Raleigh, Randy. Yeah, so y'all see that, man. <clears throat> America is, uh, is definitely in dire straits, man, on every side, man. You know, because if the ca if the cost of gas keeps rising, right, um, how, how, how does primarily uh, America get its goods delivered to these local stores and, and, and shopping malls and grocery stores by food trucks, right? When you go to different fast food chains and different stores and Walmarts, Targets, right, they say, oh, yeah, we haven't uh, received our, our, our shipment. The truck didn't come in yet today, right? That's the point, man. Trucks, uh, uh, the, the, these eighteen wheelers. That's how you know America gets the goods. You know, throughout the uh, throughout the country, man. You see what I'm saying? So if they're if they're using if the gas prices are going up, then that means that you know, uh, with these truckers, right, it's going to be more expensive to ship these goods via trucks to where they, to where they need to go. I mean, it results in a higher uh, higher prices for the stores that ship the, that, that that pay these trucks to come. And, 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 and since they got to pay more to get the goods, that's going to be more uh, 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 the prices of, of goods, you know, that they charge you are going to go up because they were more expensive to expensive to obtain. If I had to pay ten dollars for me to get some lemons. Right. Do you think I'm going to sell those lemons for ten dollars or seven dollars? There's going to be no profit for that. I'm going to sell you all the lemons for like maybe 12, 15, 15 dollars. So I can at least make a five dollar come up. You understand? So it just, it's just it's simple, right? So the fact of the matter is, as prices go up, it's going up for these businesses as well. So it's going to result in prices being higher for the uh, the everyday working uh, working you know person, man, right? <laughs> so it's only uh, so it's only this is a formula for uh, a epic uh, ec it's like an economic uh, uh, collapse, man. And we see it right before our very eyes. And all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shine, man. This is what we've been looking for. The fall of our enemy, man. Right? So I write to the 25 verse 7. Is there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy? And a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So we get to see that pomp ass, uh, 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 so-called white man, you know, uh, uh, being so freaking proud. We, we, we starting to see him uh, uh, be miserable, man. You saw the boy on the food bank. Right, talking about people coming into uh, coming to them for dire help. A lot of these Edomites, man, they go into these food banks, man. They maxing out these credit cards, right? They they taking out uh, all these different loans, man, because they don't have enough money to pay their bills, man. Right. So we see all the different things going on throughout America, and it makes me happy, man. It really makes me happy, man, when I see these things going on, because the white man, he's been he's been living deliciously 
for so so long, right? So long, man. And, and and you may wonder why why are you happy about America falling? You why wouldn't I be happy? This is this place has been the oppression of my people for over five hundred years, man, right? And, and, and when I got the heavenly father on my side, what does it say, man? Let me go ahead and read this, right? Baruch chapter 4, verse 30. Um, <clears throat> let me start at it. Yeah, yeah, verse 30. Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 30. It says, take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. It says, miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Did not these so-called uh, 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 white people... Asian people, Arabs, these East Indians, did they not laugh at our fall? Huh? Did they not rejoice when they had us in captivity? Right? Serving slavery, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and servitude, chopping off our hands, raping our women, right? These different things that's going around, right? And we just forget about them. Oh, yeah, man, nigga, stop living in the past, right? Man, ah, keep, keep, let's keep going, man. Right, it says, miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Right, so these cities are miserable, man. I hear people. I heard this uh, uh this Ephraimite sister the other day. She was talking about how she was about to get evicted, right? Because because she's waiting for rental assistance and whatnot. And you know, I I I, I in Philadelphia, rental assistance is only paid out about seventy percent of the claims. So there's a lot of people still waiting for that, right? And it's not going to come. You see what I'm saying? So all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that this place is falling, man. I hate this place, man. Right? It says, miserable are the cities which thy children serve. All right, you know what I'm saying? We serve this place as, as servants and slaves, man. Right? It says, miserable is she that received thy sons. That's America. That's Babylon, man. Right? America is in dire straits. It's about to be in a world war with Russia and China. It's in dire straits, man. America, America is on uh 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 is on in dire straits on every side, man. The supply chain shortage, right? The great resignation, right? No being no work for Egypt, right? Everybody's quitting their jobs. Prices on goods are going up. I was just at the grocery store earlier today, and a pack of chicken thighs that usually cost about six dollars costs about nine dollars now, right? So we understand that this place is falling. It is on a precipitous decline. Call Haloyim Laya Hawabah Hashem Yahweshah, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Right? It says, verse 33, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, right? They rejoiced when they saw us fall, right? It says, and, and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved when her, for her own desolation. These white people and these, and, and these old Sambo niggas, man, they were, uh, 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 you know, they're, 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 they're grieved for their own desolation, man. Right? Because 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 this shit that, you know, uh, that they had trust in, trusting in, you know, Egypt. Right. Which is America. Right. They trust in this place is falling right before their very eyes, man. And, and, and they sold. They, they, they sold to this place, man. You understand? But well, we sow into what? Into righteousness, man. To the heavenly father. Right. That's where our help is, man. All right, let me keep going. It says, verse 34, for I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and her pride shall be turned into mourning, right? So that pride, that pompous ass attitude that uh, this, this so-called white man has, this devil has, right? It's turned into mourning, right? He's grieved for his own desolation, right? Verse 35, it says, for the fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be having a, a devils for a great time. So the point is, man, fire is about to come upon this place, man. Right from the uh, ICBM missiles, man, from Russia, China, America's allies, right, going to turn on America, man, and shoot and shoot missiles upon this place. You read about that in the book of uh, Joel, chapter two, man. Right. Let me go ahead and grab something else. But man, you know us, us, uh, the, you know, a uh, minute of heavenly Father, you know Yahweh Rathazah, we the minute of heavenly Father, man. You know uh, we're gonna be straight. Matter of fact, let me grab this right here since I'm here. Proverbs 1 and 33, but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil because they can't understand why we hate this place, right? And why we want this place to fall because, hey, well, if this place falls, doesn't that mean where, you, where are you going to be at? Man, I'm going to be straight, man. The Heavenly Father going to tuck me and my household away. Yahweh, I continue to endure and fear the Heavenly Father, man. 
right? It says, shall be, uh, that whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet in fear from evil. And, and uh, you know, up until this point, man, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai has been looking out uh, uh, for me, man. You know, and the brothers that, are, that have been laboring diligently and, you know, uh, and trying to serve Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Shai with everything we got. He's been looking out for us, man, right? Let me get this, Psalms 37. In verse 25, down to 26, it says, I have been young. This is King David, right? Let me check it. Yeah, that's King David, right? Yup, King David. It says, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaking nor his seed begging bread. So we're not going to be begging bread, man, right? If we're of the house of David, right? If we're of the elect, we're not going to be begging for bread, right? We're not going to be forsaken from the Heavenly Father, right? Verse 26, it says, he is merciful. He is ever merciful and lendeth and his, and, like and his seed is blessed. So we're going to be blessed, man. We're going to be taken care of. We're going to be provided for. But the rest of these, man, the rest of these old sample niggas and, and, and these devils, man, they, you know, they're going to be in dire straits, man. Let me go ahead and grab this. Proverbs chapter 24, uh, Pro Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. It says, the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. What's the fear? What's the fear of the so-called white man? To lose his power, man, right? To have his empire fall right before his very eyes. And, and, and his so-called natural, uh, his natural born enemy, the so-called black man, us, the Israelites, ruling over top of his red ass, man, right? The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, right? And then also upon, you know, uh, these evil, uh, these, these evil Jakes, man, and Eves, right, out here in the world, right? not hearkening unto the heavenly father. What's going to happen upon them, man? You know, a lot of their fears are going to uh, be brought upon them, man. The Heavenly Father is going to bring great destruction and great wrath. And they're going to have to suffer, you know, when it comes to this famine, this great destruction, you know, uh, uh, civil wars, and you know, inside this place, race wars, great insurrection upon this place. You know, so it's, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of things that, you know, uh, Jake is fearing that is going to come upon him, man. Right. And, he, and, his, and his daddy Esau, right, you know, uh, his lover Esau ain't going to be able to save him from it. Right. It says, but let me keep going. It says, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So the point is, right. Those who, you know, who are serving you, how about some other shot in truth and sincerity, our desires are going to be granted. What's our desire to receive salvation? Right. To receive abundance, like it says in the second Ezra chapter two, verse twenty seven, for us to be protected and provided for to receive spiritual power and divine intervention, you know, and, and, and you know, in times of evil. Right. During Jacob's trouble, you know, these, these are the things that's going to be uh, that we're going to be blessed with. Our desires are going to be uh, are going to be granted, man. Right. So these are the things, man, that we have to look forward to. So we see as we see our enemy falling right before our very eyes, man, we should rejoice. Right. Because there's no coming back, man. And, and you know, and, and then the Heavenly Father is even having it to where uh, Esau is, uh, 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 you know, bringing it out, you know, uh, you know, out of his own uh, out of his own mouth. Saying it is no going back to how it once was, right? Jeremiah 51 and 8, and I'm gonna end off here, right? It says, Babylon is suddenly falling out of nowhere, man. This whole pandemic thing came out of nowhere, right? And just and, and just ripped this place to shreds. Or the whole the, the whole earth, man. Right? You know, uh, but predominantly, you know, it's going down over here, right? You know, because I'm you know, I, I'm talking about the whole earth because um, uh, you know, of course. Gas prices have been going uh going crazy all around the world, uh you know the you know the uh, the different shutdowns affecting different uh, uh you know economies and different businesses. So it's really been felt you know everywhere, but you know uh, per, per, predominantly over here in America, right? It says Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. So they're trying to take bomb, right? Through these through these different care acts and stimulus packages, you know uh that Joe Biden and you know and his uh. His predecessors are trying to push out, right? The different stimulus, ch uh, stimulus checks and whatnot, right? It says, "How for her? Take balm for her pain, right? If so, she may be healed." They're trying to heal. They're trying to resuscitate this place, but there's no going back, man, right? It's, on, it's only, it's only, it's, it's going, it's going to continue to go down, right? Verse nine. It says, "We would have healed Babylon, so they would have, you know, uh, put back Babylon back together, but she is not healed." 
forsake her and let us every one go into his own country for her judgment reaches unto heaven and it is lifted up even to the sky so the point is babylon has come into the fullness of his sins man that was right for the picking so the heavenly father he'll let he'll let a nation you know uh, uh get to the top point and pinnacle of his wickedness and then come and reap it man meaning to come in and come and come and just take it out completely Right. And then we know at the end of this place, like uh, pursuing the second Ezra chapter six, verse nine, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So when this place falls, man, we got to look up, man, because our salvation draw of nigh, man. So I hope that, you know, you are came and are or edified, exhorted and comforted. And then when you see these things going, uh, uh, going on the media, going on the news, don't be fearful of these things. Right. Don't think what's going to happen to me. How am I going to be straight? The heavenly father is going to make sure you're straight. And, you know, as Esau falls, you know, we're, we're, we're going to stand tall, man. So, you know, with that, man, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Habakkuk Kodash, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baraka Thumb, to you sincere-hearted Akim and Akwaf. Shalom, man.